welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Leica Mini Lux. I have shot with this camera a few times and recently didn't have the best experience with it. Um, in my last video I did, I shot with it and didn't realize that the autofocus wasn't on. So I wanted to give it a chance to redeem itself or redeem me, which is really the issue because it's not the camera's fault that I didn't put the autofocus on. But um, I really like it and I feel like I was sort of torn between the Contax T2 and the Leica Mini Lux. So I kind of want to do a comparison. I probably will do an actual comparison video in the future. Uh, maybe that'll be my next video concept after this one, just because honestly, I don't need both of them. I feel like it's either one or the other and I should sell one of them. Um, but I'm really excited about it. We are working with a model from Wilhelmina and I am potentially going to be shooting with her for a brand shoot coming up. So it'll be kind of nice to kind of, um, you know, get to know each other. This is the first time I've ever shot with her. Um, so yeah, and we are shooting my backyard again and I am excited to uh, get going. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little torn. I decided to go ahead and sell this camera. I really liked the contacts and I'm, that's the one I've been shooting with the majority of the time. Um, and so I think that's maybe really the only reason I decided to keep it over the Leica Mini Lux. I think it's a great camera. I do think the price point's slightly lower. Um, I just really, really love the contacts and I felt like everything I've done with it, even some studio shoots that I did recently, um, I took it as like my behind the scenes camera and like every single one of those shots for the most part was completely in focus. And I just feel like I've had a little bit more experience. That's like the only reason that I've decided to get rid of this camera and keep that camera. But for the most part, everything I've had shot with this camera, everything I've had shot with this camera, everything I've shot with this camera has been great. I think that the quality of the images is always really, really lovely. I think that if you are looking for something that's comparable to the Contax, but slightly lower price point, I would definitely check this camera out. Um, I am definitely a little bummed that I'm selling it because I did enjoy picking it up and shooting with it, but I honestly really love the feel and look of the Contax a little bit more. And maybe that's why I'm sort of like gravitating towards that. It's just like kind of a 
sexier camera in my opinion um and maybe that's just like a purely aesthetic thing but if you you know are sort of that same mindset as me um maybe get the contacts but i think that like for the most part the cameras are so similar um it's just really preference i did notice there was a few like roller issues on these rolls i found that there was like some black marks on a couple of the frames i think it was the last image on that roll um and so maybe it was a lab thing or maybe i just shot like 38 frames i think it was so maybe that was like a half frame that the camera was just like giving me but technically i shouldn't have shot it um just something to think about i didn't even consider that when i was shooting but i mean i love the shot so i just ended up retouching it out and it wasn't a huge deal to me but i think Honestly, like if you were thinking about this camera, I definitely would say give it a go. Um, try to find it semi-low price point. I think you could definitely find this camera at a decent price point right now. So um, yeah, that's kind of my final thoughts on it. So yeah, I hope you are having a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.